Welcome to the Toy Train Operating Society Southern Pacific Division's review of the Lionel Hospital Kit part number 6-83-745. It is an assembly required kit and it builds a Lionelville hospital building. Or if you want to be really strange about it, a maintenance shed for people. So we're going to open up and build this today and see how this works. It does say assembly required. I've got some hand tools here. Hopefully the basic hand tools will cover it. So let's open this up. Its features include um, it's an undecorated model assembly kit, which means obviously if you're going to add decorations and details, you'll probably have to do so. Stamped metal roof, molded roof vents, stamped metal interior supports, assembled with screw hardware, interior illumination and wires included, and photo etch clocks for the tower. So as you can see, it fits in a pretty small box when you get delivered. What I can't show you in video is that the box weighs a good amount. So it's a good amount of steel. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. In here shows the uh, operating manual and what we're going to do and hopefully uh, I'll be good at following directions. So the first one here shows steps one and two and we're going to lock these in and repeat for each side. And it appears that there is a screw that holds this in and then putting in plastic windows. So as you can see, it's gonna, we're gonna appear, uh, uh, approach that direction, one and two, three and four, and then there is the step four there to put them in. All right, so let's take it out and see what we got in the kit. Obviously there's the clock tower and some supports and other pieces there. Put that to the side. A lovely piece of square styrofoam. In here, it appears to be the windows covered in nice plastic so they don't get scratched. There would obviously be the centerpiece. Um, either that or if you get cursing too much, the wife is going to hit you over the head and target your forehead with this, but hopefully not. There's your metal supports and lighting, which we will put in later. Set that aside. Again, some more windows. Light bulbs, screws and such that we will be using. I would say since this is very heavy in metal, this appears to be the roof. Nice place for a helicopter landing there. And then finally in the box, it says County Hospital. The sides are pre-striped and decorated. Very nice looking. So we're going to put this box aside over here. And in fact, what we will do is turn it around and close the lid so kind of we have an idea of what the finished product should look like. So, with that, the directions say apparently to grab a short side and a long side and we're going to put one right or one left and we'll put these together to make the two corner pieces and then obviously this back piece here will be where the corners meet at the back side and then the front for there. There's the list of parts that we went through, uh, along with the optional lighting circuit. So it says they've got glue, uh, icons of glue, do not glue, cut, and so forth. So hopefully we won't have a lot of the cutting, because I'm really bad with sharp objects. Alright. So it appears that the windows are held in by itty bitty screws. So that is what we're going to start with first, and then of course there's the final direction. If we're going to make, and you can make this a school apparently if you want to cover this. All right. So let's open up the first sections here. And as you can see. You've got your corners and the little strips as listed in the instructions here. And then the windows are obviously here. So we just need to find the right windows that match into there. And it looks like they've packaged them pretty well. So that will be the door for there. Short side windows. 
long side windows with the long side, short side windows with the short side. Pretty ingenious. Alright. So let's just kind of weight this down so I can see it. And now we got to find the package of itty bitty screws, which is included in this. Light bulbs for lighting. And really short itty bitty screws. So these appear to be the fellas, and as you can see, they're very, very tiny and short, so obviously they don't go through the plastic. And if you're not sure, again, you can refer to the manual. And I'll talk about small windows for the screws, 8 for the corners and roof fans, and 14 large. So the 32 screws, which is what I would say the bazillion little screws here pocket, will be what we're going to use first. So carefully open this. somewhere I can see them. Yay. Yeah, the screwdriver barely fits it, but you know what? It works. So we'll put that there. Obviously a magnetic screwdriver would be helpful in this kind of installation. I know people aren't a big... Uh, technicians don't like the use of magnetic screwdrivers. And I understand that for working on electronics. However, when working with things like this, we don't want to lose a screw. You can see this presses in, fairly thick plastic. So these little guys are just going to kind of hold this in and make sure that the inmates, I would imagine, are not allowed out of the asylum. So we're going to repeat this. And the reason I'm filming this in full time, in real time, is to give you an example of how long it would take to put together. A lot of people see kits and go, oh my gosh, it's insurmountable. Or maybe I don't want to spend that much time. And there's, yeah, there's all sorts of reasons. But once you see it actually done, you're like, well, oh, that's not so bad. side is now done. Perfect. Alright. So we're going to set that to the side. Miles will just do all the sides and windows and get it done. Now the grooves on the on this window I've chosen to put on the inside facing to the interior. There's like grooves that show like lines in the windows. And as you can see I put them on the inside. I believe that's what the directions say, but it'd be a lot easier and it gives a nice effect this way for the light coming in. So obviously that's something that you could choose to change up, detail up, draw some pinstriping in, put some paint in. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. Let's see. There we go. A little bit of force. Doesn't hurt. Nice relaxing thing. You know, people have forgotten about hobbies and 
our stress and multimedia and being on the TV and being on the smartphones and I think all those have their purpose. I also think we've forgotten how to have hobbies and relax. Okay, there's another end done. We'll do the long sides according to this. And then we'll be ready to assemble a corner. Or short side, let's see. Let's do short side first. So I want to go by what the directions say. Yes? Short side. Okay. So do short sides and long sides. What the heck? Yes, I can change up my mind. Same thing goes with the other windows. We're going to fit inside, put the grooves facing inside the building, press down on the tabs so you can see how that fits over that and that. And then it does show this little groove on the instructions facing inside. So we want to make sure that we have that facing inside that way. Alright. Okay. So let's get these little guys fastened down. Probably should have had a little tinier screwdriver, but I wanted to see if it would assemble with an average small Phillips. Because not everybody's going to have jeweler screwdrivers or tiny screwdrivers around and it says hand tools. So I'm going to go and take them at their meeting. So, so far, so bueno. Nice thing about holding the windows in with screws. Make sure you want to clean it or frost the windows or paint it. You can take it apart again and do so. Whereas if you didn't have this or it was glued in, it would be a lot harder to get off. So, there's another side done. Put that fellow there. Grab this next glass. As you can see, it's always fun to rip paper and open things up. Inside and the corner like that, and again that notch in that corner, like they show in the instructions. Hey, you viewers, when you're piping in and watching this, anybody ever put together an American Flyer version of these? Because I think that's some of the tooling this is based on. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments if it was always pre-assembled. Are these similar buildings pre-assembled or did you ever put together a kit? I think it would be interesting for the viewers to know, so please comment what you think. shorty size done and finally for the deluxe part the large sections and again do the same thing open them up put in the windows and we should be ready to go to some pretty darn fast assembly here obviously some details left but
Alright. And again, uh, when you're looking at this, so let's look at the instructions here because this glass, oh, this has got little corners. So you can see it's got the notches on both, so we're good. So orientation. Again, it's always good to pay attention. Look at those things. There we go. Snaps over those tabs. These being a tad longer takes six screws. And I do like screws much better than messy glue. I'm one of those kids and I think I always got more glue all over me than on the model. Okay, doesn't that look lovely? Same here. The last of the big building sides, window pieces. Again, you want to check your glass. Almost there. As you can see, there's the assembled section. So now, according to this, repeat for each side. So two of the small ends, so we're going to take one of each, separate this out, and we'll start with this side. So we're going to complete two of these sections, and then we'll secure the sections with that middle post, which should be with the ceiling parts over here. And there is our lovely middle post. I didn't get anybody. No, it was not an earthquake. Even though we get them in SoCal. Okay. So how are we doing here? Good. Alright, so now we need the 14 screws, I believe. And it always looks good to refer the directions. Uh, the 14 large screws are for spacer supports. 
medium of corners and roof fans. So number 18 is the 14. So again, the 14 screws. So here we go. So we'll open these up. Put them right here. I'm going to take and match the bottoms up like this. So as everybody can see, there's the corners. Now they're going to match up just like that. And we'll put a screw in through the top. I imagine they mean to put a screw in the other way. to double check. Oh, no, there we go. Nice bite. Again, do the same here. I'm going to do it through the bottom just because I don't like the angle of the screwdriver trying to have an odd angle one put things together. There we go. Very nice. Okay. As you can see, that's the way it looks together. Now we're going to put this wall on doesn't show any difference in orientation, so we'll do the same. And again, that's according to this section here. Again, two more screws. Then we'll assemble the other corner just like we did here. So I'll turn this around. Oops. No, it wasn't an earthquake. I'm just clumsy. see as it starts to go together it's pretty solid it's got some good heft and feel to it so definitely something that um, whether you use them as a permanent layout or I will likely use on a portable layout uh, maybe for when zombies attack or something <laughs> so there's one finished corner so we're going to set that aside and we're going to repeat what we just did with this. Alright, one note that I just discovered is that I put on this back wall upside down. The reason I saw that is because the stripes don't match. But hey, I'm a lot of mistakes. So, won't be the first time, won't be the last. Take 
this. And flip it around. Ha! You wish your home remodeling could be this easy. I wish home remodeling could be this easy. So, that is a good guide and note to self to remember to look at the stripes, make sure they're all matching. Alright, take that. Alright, so, stripe at the top, stripe at the top, this, there we go, and we're on our way. Probably one of the longest videos I've ever done, and that's okay. Hopefully everybody can see, despite my left-handedness, what I'm doing here. So screws go into there, they tighten it up, fastens those corners together. Now we're going to put this wall on the back, again, match the stripes. See, and we're constructing almost as fast as them warehouse buildings that they seem to construct. And like two days later, you're driving along the freeway, nothing there, and then all of a sudden a whole building pops up. And you're like, what the? What happened? So you can get a good view. And there's the screw. Alright. Progress. Okay. Now it says to secure the two corners, like we just did, with more screws using the said corner piece. So, all we'll do is, I think the easiest way is screw on the corner piece on one, and we'll introduce the other side. So as you can see, this is your corner piece, that's what's going to provide the beveled edge, and it sits here so it kind of sticks into the groove, and then makes a spacer for here. And I'm going to turn it over, just because it, to me, provides a little bit more secure base. I'm getting these threaded in. And since we already got it upside down, we can put on the other half, top tip, <laughs> make sure your stripes are matching this way too. As you can see, that goes in the corner very nicely. Alright. Take and flip this over. And hey, what do you know, boys and girls? It's beginning to look like what's in the picture. Pretty darn cool. Alright, this around so it doesn't want to flail off. The last screw is in there. Alright, look at that. I wouldn't say it's a star is born, it would be a hospital is born, but kind of, kind of weird. Okay, so then, number 
11 is what? Little fans to go on the roof. Okay. Put them in. Repeat for each side. Slide the roof in the grooves. Or set it on top. Uh, set it on top. Okay. And then we're going to build the vestibule area. So we're going to move these little screws here. Leave them on top of the box. It's the best place. Oops. In this package that we already opened up for the corner piece, you will find a couple of things that are important to this build. The steps for the center piece. The roof that will go over the entrance. And the little roof vents. So, each ceiling panel is wrapped neatly again. Helicopter landing, and aha, uh -huh. so that is what the itty bitty screws are for. Let's see what screw number it said. And the roof vents are held with a screw upside down into this. Nice things, it makes a lovely handle. I don't know if Lionel intended that or not, but nevertheless. There we go. Take another one. Another screw. Once again, it's got to go in the hole there. Let's thread this up. It's kind of an art of holding the vent and the screw. Getting it put together. Ta -da! And look at that. We have ceiling. And I'll bet you can guess what we're going to do next. <laughs> See the other one. No helicopter landing on this side. Only on the other side. Same thing goes, screw an event.
What I've been doing is starting to screw through, holding it with my finger, and get the vent lined up here. Kind of get it started to get it twisted on. Once it starts to bite, hold the vent from the bottom side, get the screwdriver in, and through a little bit of finagling. Once it gets going, you're fine. And while I get the other screw, it's a test fit. Look at that. Looks very hospitally. Same thing. Don't you wish they could remove and repair your roof that easily? Okay. Voila. We now have a roof. Let's see what the instruction tones say now. So now, basically, if this was school, you'd be gluing on a sticker. Otherwise, um, we've got some other parts, hospital type parts here, that we're going to be putting on this front. So now that I have a workbench up top, while we're not going to be landing a helicopter, we will be landing some stuff. Alright. So, obviously this is the back to this. It says to glue it on. I will not glue it on in this episode. I can tell you that it will probably friction fit. If you want to glue it on, great. Um, it's not something that I'm going to do right now, only in the interest of time. So you could probably use any just kind of like, a, I wouldn't say even a heavy epoxy, I would just say a plastic glue or even just a regular white glue. You just want to make it snap on and stay on. It's a pretty good friction fit on its own, so there. I really don't even think you need glue. <laughs> so that's that part. So let's see what the instructions say. Um, I gotta put in my little window and slide on some other parts. So here's the doors. We'll put in the doors real quick. And then I've got lighting left, which we can do. We'll take a look at that. And then that's it. Alright. So let me get the door put in real quick. Goes on the same way as the other glass did. Press it into here, so you can see it snaps in. Get your little bitty screws. One I drop somewhere, I'll look for it later. These things are almost to the point where I don't think you don't need these. You only need a couple, so. If you're a clus like me, and you only have one or two in, I don't think your windows are gonna fall out. Obviously they're designed for all four. But if you lose a screw, eh, I've lost a screw many years ago and been a screw, been accused of having a screw loose or short, so it wouldn't be the first time. I'll put two on the bottom. So you can see, perfect. Whoa, sorry about that.
Okay, so the steps don't actually fasten anything. Let's just put them on there, so. Those are just going to sit there. Which we will set in the corner. The little roof. Where it says, oh, probably be helpful to put it right side up. So for your emergency area. See, it just kind of slides straight on. Lovely. Tower at the top. And we'll set this back in the corner of our little squares area. That sits in, in the corner of the building, just like that. These are for wiring up the lighting. Your optional lighting is listed on page 9. So there are brackets where you connect them. And obviously the tabs and the screws and everything will be used where the ceilings are. So if you look at the ceilings, you can see there's tabs and structures for lighting. I'm not going to put a lot of time in the video. If there's enough requests, I can show that at a different time. Otherwise, hopefully everybody sees a good view of our Lionel. Lionelville Hospital Kit. Very nice building, very impressive. Um, makes a great addition to your layout. As you can see, the kit did not take that long to put together. It runs $79.99 at your local Lionel retailer. Part number is 6-83745. Sorry, my glasses are just terrible today. And um, once again, I think it is a uh, fabulous accessory. I think it's really neat. It does, uh, does take a little bit of real estate, but you can put a helicopter. You can make all sorts of fun going on in here. So, uh, once again, this is the Toy Train Operating Society, Southern Pacific Division, Ambassador Club to Lionel, in our review of the Lionelville Hospital Kit. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Keep the boiler lit and the train orders ready. Okay, as a supplement, in case I get enough demand for this, just to show you where the lighting kits go, you have one structure across here on the first wing, another structure here on the second wing, and then you've got the cross bracing here. Even if you don't put in the lighting, it might be good structurally, and all you're going to do is fasten it down with the supplied screws. You'll run your, wire, your wires through, bring them around with the springs and the bulbs here, You've got the little clips included here to tack down the wiring, and your wiring of harnesses here. So super simple. I'm not going to go through the much more detail than that. You can see how the harness fits. That's going to then cl click up and feed into the other harness, and then you'll have your wiring where you feed it into the layout. Again, this is an optional step. It's up to you. Um, but for structural support, it's a good idea. And if you ever want to add green zombie lighting like I might do, it'll be awesome. So that's all for now for just a quick supplement. Have a great one.